Hey hey, I hope you are having a beautiful day. It's Ed and look where I am. <laughs> Out in the countryside once again, having a little cheeky stroll. Breathing in some nice fresh air, catching some rays. Look at this blue sky. Woohoo! English winter is here and it is beautiful. So, what I want to talk to you today about team is the fact that we all set goals from time to time in many, many different ways. So they can be weight loss or even muscle gain, weight gain goals. They can be financial goals. Uh, they could be relationship goals. We all set goals from time to time, whether we're aware of it or not. However, so many of us never see those goals through and never really achieve them to live the life that we want to live. And I want to discuss with you the reason that that could be. And the reason I'm pretty sure is, <laughs> is the case. Um, and to make sure that every time you set a goal, you actually see it through and you achieve exactly what it is that you want to achieve in order for you to be the happiest person that you can be. So I've been a personal trainer now for six years and I've been training myself for eight years, I think. And in recent years, I've become a life coach on the side of that because I learned how um, how deep the beliefs that we hold are and how because of how deep they are they really can hold us back so a lot of people myself included in my younger years hold ourselves back because of our beliefs when it comes to the way our bodies look okay so I was a, a skinny little kid I never believed I could build muscle I never believed I'd be a strong man <laughs> uh, but and, and so a lot of people have the same thing often with people that are overweight they struggle to see themselves ever not being overweight um, and as a result they don't really take action in the right direction so anyway what I want to talk to you about specifically in this video is a concept which I refer to as emotionally catching up to the new you okay so oftentimes with goals we can blunder in we get all the tools together that we need and then we dive in head first and we expect to achieve uh, exactly what we want to in the first few days this is the world we live in we're impatient beings we're all the same we live in the era of Google and Facebook so who can blame us that's just the way we are but the problem is that so, that, so let's take dieting for example we'll dive into a new diet we'll lose a load of weight in a very short space of time by being too strict on ourselves and taking on an approach which is quite frankly not sustainable and then once we've lost the weight we try and go about our lives as we normally did before so we could go out for dinner with friends or whatever um, and we haven't built the rituals and the routines that we need in order to sustain that changed persona right so just because you've lost a load of weight doesn't mean that you're now the sort of person that weighs less you might have changed it on the outside but you've not built the lifestyle rituals in order to maintain that okay so what is key when it comes to setting new goals is to forget the progress and actually focus on building the routine okay so I know that might sound boring it's not sexy but this is the reality of it okay so rather than focusing too much on exactly what you're gonna eat how much weight you're gonna lose and all that stuff focus on just building the, the ritual of going to the gym three times a week or eating three good healthy meals every day rather than eating crap and from here this is where you start building progress and the great thing about this is that you know that if you ever do have a blip which is inevitable you will just go straight back to your healthy routines okay and that is really where the power is the power is in the ritual it's not within the, the nitty-gritty okay and so a lot of us sometimes we get too strict on ourselves when we try and set out on a new goal and we throw ourselves off the wagon straight away um, because we're, we're focusing too much on the result and so we're trying to we're busting our asses trying to get results fast and not changing ourselves emotionally so I hope this is making sense and this really is something that everyone could benefit from when you're setting goals give yourself a chance to emotionally catch up with the new you before you set out on the next thing okay so lose a bit of weight get used to it get comfortable with that lose a bit more get comfortable with that and then lose some more so everything is a stepping stone don't try and blunder in too quick and scare yourself off 
I really, really hope that helps. This is important stuff here. This is valuable information. I've seen it work time and time again with so many people. So please give it a try. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And there'll be new videos coming every single week. Thank you so much for watching.